Hello everyone, my name is Elida and thank you for joining our webinar dedicated to the preparation for line training assessment. When communicating with young and inspiring pilots who join time rating training programs and do not have any practice on flying big aircraft, we notice that they are very interested in doing line training. However, very few of them know the importance and weight that airlines place on the pilot assessment. None of the airlines would ever accept the pilot without testing their skills, preparation, psychological well-being and many other aspects that are highly important for the successful line training and pilot career. In order to help eliminate the unknown from the line training assessment, the test it involves and give you a better idea for the preparation plan. We invite you to stick with us for another 10 minutes and get some line training assessment insights. The line training assessment involves five part testing. It includes ATPL general knowledge test, aircraft systems test, full flight simulator check, advanced compass test, profile XT test. Let's look at every one of these parts a little bit closer. Remember all the 14 subjects that you went through in ab initial school? Well, during this test you will have to answer 50 questions that are compiled from the subjects like meteorology, navigation, instrumentation, communication, radio navigation, flight planning and others. This test requires you to master the main ATPL theory information and be able to apply it during the test. The Aircraft Systems Test examines these strategic aircraft knowledge areas – dimensions, engines, conditioning, pressurization, warning, icing, flight instruments, communication, electrical and other important systems of the aircraft. This is probably the most exciting part of the entire assessment and it involves a number of criteria you have to meet as well as skills that you must portray during the test. During the full flight simulator skill test, main seven competencies that examiner is looking at are handling skills, crew resource management, briefing, technical knowledge, standard operational procedures, memory items, communication. Let's briefly go over every one of these competencies. Aircraft handling tests your ability to control aircraft manually or with an autopilot engaged in various flying stages and situations that are chosen by the examiner. This testing stage is evaluated according to the piloting deviation tolerances, which are as follows. Aircraft position plus minus half nautical mile of requested track. Speed negative 5 to positive 15 knots of requested speed, both engine running. Altitude plus minus 200 feet. Maximum deviation on final one dot for the localizer and glide slope. In case of engine failure after V1, stay within plus minus 5 degrees on runway center line. Speed control in case of one engine inoperative, 0 to plus 10 knots. Crew resource management part of the test measures pilot decision making situational awareness and mutual work ability in the multi-pilot environment in both normal and abnormal situations created by the examiner. Pilot skill to conduct quick and professional briefing before departure and before arrival are evaluated during the briefing skill testing. Technical knowledge checks pilots' general knowledge of airplane systems, performance and limitations. Operational procedures testing involve pilots' knowledge and application of standard operational procedures, 
from the cockpit preparation till arriving at the gate. In case of abnormal and emergency situations, pilot must be able to recall and apply certain memory items that they learn during the type rating training and will be tested on them. Communication test evaluates pilot communication efficiency with other pilot, air traffic control and cabin crew in real life environment. Once you pass the full flight simulator testing, there are still two more to go. Advanced Compass tests consist of six key competencies tests, which have been developed to examine key skill areas for the pilot profession. It is for the license holders and experienced pilots only, and tests these skills. Complex Control Task is a test to fly an ILS approach while handling the rudder pedals and speed setting. Professional knowledge tests consist of a number of questions and situations that test pilots' theoretical comprehension. Mathematics part tests the basic applied mathematical understanding and speed. The accuracy of short-term memory recall and ability to chunk information is a part of the memory test. Task Manager is a test of the candidate's ability to scan the screen and manage two concurrent tasks accurately and quickly. Orientation tests instrument interpretation, comprehension and pilot's spatial orientation. Test is available in a number of languages like English, Chinese, Spanish, Turkish, Arabic and Russian. The testing time with breaks usually takes maximum 4 hours. The Profile XT assessment measures how well an individual fits the specific jobs in the organization. The job matching feature of the PXT is unique and it enables to evaluate an individual relative to the qualities required to successfully perform in a specific job. This assessment reveals consistent, in-depth and objective insight into individual's thinking and reasoning style, relevant behavioral traits, occupational interests and reveals whether an individual is a good fit for a pilot job in a particular organization. The duration of the test, including some breaks, is about two and a half hours. Quite often, we receive questions from the future pilots whether they could do line training assessment before they take type rating training. And I believe that the answer should be obvious by now. It would be way too difficult to pass the required tests around the aircraft in the full flight simulator and other competencies without gaining all that knowledge throughout the type rating training. Every type rating course provides specific knowledge about a certain aircraft, like Airbus A320 or Boeing 737. Therefore, during the assessment, pilots must portray their knowledge which is specific to that aircraft. I hope that this short webinar gave you a better understanding of what to expect during line training assessment. Make sure that during your studies you focus on the important parts so that when you are faced with the assessment testing, you are calm and prepared. If you have any questions, please feel free to email them to info at baltica.com or post them in the comment box below. Thank you and good luck with your assessment!